guys welcome back to my channel it's been so long since the last time I actually made a video I can't even remember the last time that's bad but I am back and I have some new goodies that I wanted to try out so of course I want to try it out on camera the reason being is I just got my first influencer box and it's by covergirl so this is exciting I got this for free complimentary uh, to review these products which I will be doing today and inside the box it came with um, the Outlast All Day Soft Touch Concealer and this is in the shade Light Medium then it also came with the Outlast All Day Matte Finishing Powder in the shade Light to Medium and then it also came with their new lippy. Um, it's a Outlast All Day. It's red and it comes with a moisturizing top coat and an all day collar coat. So this should be all day. Last all day. Well, for me, it'll be all night. But let's see. We'll try that out. I already, um, we're just going to jump right into the video. I already did my brows. As you can see, I have concealer all over them. And, um,. I moisturize my face. I'm gonna jump into, and I, I primed also. Um, I used the Cover FX Illuminating Primer. It's my first time trying it, so. Um, honestly, maybe, let, let's put some more. Cause I don't see how it illuminates. But, I don't know if it's just me. But let's, we'll try some more on the cheeks. Feels very moisturizing. I don't know about illuminating. Maybe a little. So look what I got yesterday. Stressed. It hurts so bad. All right. So to jump in, we're gonna start with the eyes, of course, and I actually. Just got the new Morphe palettes. One is in 25A and the other one's 25B. I believe one's called like bronze mocha, the other one's called copper. But look at these babies. Let me open it. I haven't even swatched or anything. They're too pretty. I don't even want to use it. Look at those colors. That one is 25A. And I'm not going to be using these today though. I don't want to use them yet. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. And I don't have a specific look I'm doing either. I'm just going to wing it. And then here's the other one. In 25B. Oh, it's gorgeous. But today I'm going to be using my other new palette, which I haven't tried. Well, I swatched earlier. And this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And it actually really smells like peaches. It smells so good. Mm. So I have no idea. I'm just going to do a simple look just to, you know, try out the palette. But um, we'll jump right in. So I also primed my eyelids with the concealer that I use for my brows. I'm going to be using the uh, Morphe M505. And to start off with my crease, I'm going to be using this shade here called Puree. Tap that off. And I always, for some reason, start off with like a light brown for my transitioning color. But it always ends up just being brown. It's always brown. And you just want to blend as much as you can. I bring it up really high because I have like this space right here. It's I have a lot of space. So I bring it up high and I blend. Okay. And then I'm gonna use Puree again for the other eye, obviously. 
And I'm just gonna blend that all in and bring it up towards the brow. I have no idea what look I'm doing, so bear with me. I'm gonna do a simple look though. going to pick up this um, charmed I'm sure it's like a grayish um, it's a brown with an undertone of gray and we are going to just blend that in as well it's called charmed I'm sure I'm gonna blend it more towards the outer corner Just to cause some dimension in there. And this I'm just using it for the outer corner here. And on my lips, by the way, I used the Too Faced Lip Injections. I absolutely love that plumper. My lips are very plumped. It actually works. You know, some plumpers is just for the name, but it really works. I love it. have one eye that you do better than the other one they're never twins they're just sisters yeah this is this is the book that I all right now um let's see I'm actually going to do is my shader brush I'm actually using this new um, Morphe Y20 and I'm going to jump into the shade Cobbler here and I'm just going to put that all over my lid and see how that turns out. just build up your product and this is why I always do my eyes first because it fall out like that I can always you always cover it up with foundation
So. To be honest, I want to try another color for my lid. And I'm looking at this um, candy peach right here, as well as the just peachy. So I'm going to apply the candied peach on, t on first and then the just peachy on top. So let's get another shader brush. And this is a Real Techniques brush. They don't have any, um, it's just a shading brush. It's, they don't have any numbers or anything on there. So let's see how that turns out. So fingers always work better. I'm going to use my finger for this shade. There you go. It's such a pretty, literally peachy toned shadow. simple and I'm just gonna take a sip of my coffee mm. and we'll try the just peachy shade right on top mm. look at that it's so pretty we're gonna blend that out so I'm using the Morphe M441 brush just to blend it all in together For the inner corner, I'm using the Morphe M169 brush, and I'm looking at the shade Nectar here on this corner right here. It's a nice little champagne color. Let's see how that looks. Pop that right in the okay. Not a big I don't know if I like this palette so much. The hype was real. Um, you see it, but whatever. And then I'm going to use this peaches and cream shade here for my brow bone. And I actually got this brush from ColourPop for free. It doesn't have a name or anything on it. It's like their shader brush, I'm guessing. So I'm just going to use that for my brow bone. Like I said, I'll be using... I'll use the peaches and cream. And 
I'm also going to be adding this is another brush from ColourPop which I got for free as well I'm going to be adding the same nectar shade that I applied in my inner corner I'll be applying it to my brow bone blend a little more here we don't want any harsh lines This is just a simple, you can see, it's very simple, not much. You can't even see my lid color. I'm not sure if I really like this palette. Not sure. But we can, I'll let it slide, it's okay. So, pretty much all, all the products I'll be using are, let me zoom you back out, you all up in my face. So all the products I will be using is, um, it's my first time using them. So for the foundation, um, I actually heard so much about this, and this is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup Foundation. And I am in the shade 230 Buff. I hear wonders about this. So let's see. I'm just gonna shake that up. And I like the packaging, it's smooth and it comes with a pump, which I like. I'm just gonna apply two pumps in the back of my hand. And I'm going to use this nice beauty sponge that I actually bought from Forever 21, and I love it. I love it. So I'm going to apply some. Some dust all over. Okay. And I'm just going to dab that in. So, I must say that the coverage is good. Say medium to full coverage. I actually covered up my pimple pretty well. I used two pumps for my whole face. Winning. I'm gonna just drag that down into the neck. Okay. So I love the way it actually looks. It looks really natural. It doesn't look cakey at all. I'll zoom you guys in. So I'll say medium to full coverage. Got a pimple there. Well, I will be using the concealer. So let's try that baby out. My legs are falling asleep. 
So let's open this up. And I'm actually going to use this for highlighting purposes as well. So, so it's a so it's like a little sponge. I don't know if you guys know about like the Maybelline Rewind. Sort of like that. And you just press and it comes out. So let's see. So, so far, it feels really thin, doesn't feel too heavy on the face, which is good. Apply a little bit to the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, and on my chin. Right on top of my lip. So let's see how it blends out. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little more. Oh, sorry. There you go. Uh, it blends in really nicely. Like, really nicely. And the shade is awesome. It's perfect. It blends in really good. You can so far, so good. Copy girl. I must say I like it. Really good. It covers up my little dark spots underneath my eyes. And it blends out really good. Love. So. I just gotta fix this eye. Seems like I don't have enough. All right, better. Sorry, guys. But yeah, I love the concealer. So far, thumbs up. Thumbs up. So I will be using the um, matte finishing powder. I'm going to oh, use this just to set face. my face. Um, so let's open that baby up. And it comes with a little sponge. Like this, with a little mirror, but of course we don't use this. I'm going to use this big fluffy brush from Morphe, and this is the Morphe E1 brush. And I'm just going to apply it all around my face. Bring that down my neck. And on my forehead. OMG. I love it. I love it. It makes okay, my skin. So my camera shut off. Typical. I had no room on my card, so. But, anyways. 
My skin looks extremely smooth. It doesn't look cakey at all. Like, I really love the way it looks. Like, I love it. So, we're going to contour, and I'm just going to use this Wonder Stick from NYX. I love it. Um, I used this before. Oops. So, we're just going to... I'm just going to do a light little contour. Right under that pimple. Great. And here. I actually put some underneath my lip to make it look more plumpy. As you can see, I love plumpy lips. Lip plumper. Contour. And we're just going to blend that out with my sponge. So remember guys, with um, like cream contours, you don't want to blend too much because then it'll disappear. Like, that's good. Like it looks like a stripe right now. <laughs> that just made me laugh. Um, I have a friend who um, hates like that sh stripe contour look, which I do like, I don't knock anybody's makeup skills at all. But blend girl, please blend. Contour is not stripes. So I'm gonna blend that out a little more. See? You see a little, little definition there? That's what you want it to look like. And you can contour this double chin I have, but it's all right. I'm going to sleep after this. <laughs> but um, let me just talk about this coffee real quick. Off topic. My mother-in-law just got the new um. Ninja and it makes like lattes, iced coffees, girl, caramel hot latte, amazing. So yummy. Anyways, back to contouring. So we're going to use this I used before, but I absolutely love this. This is um from Physicians Formula and it's the butter bronzer. It smells amazing, like it smells so good. It smells like you're on a beach drinking a pina colada laid back on the sand. <sighs> Yummy. So I'll be using the Morphe E4 brush to bronzer up. I'm just going to dip that all up in there. And I'm going to bronzer up. And I apply that to my temples, around my hairline, to the other side. To my temples. And that underneath to hide um, that double chin. Perfect. Now I'm going to set my under eye and this is my first time using this. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. So let me tell you about this. My fiance bought me this for Christmas. And I have the regular Laura Mercier transparent powder, right? Transparent? Yeah. And I was like, I need the secret brightening powder. Right? Because Nicole Guerrero talks about it all the time. It comes in. Look how little. I was like, I think I got the wrong size. No. 
This is the only size it comes in. But it's alright. I'm gonna try this baby out if I can open it. Alright. Open. Perfect. Open and everywhere. Alright, so I will be using the Morphe E528 brush right here. I'm just gonna set my under eye with that. Let's see how bright this baby makes my under eye. Guys, you guys didn't tell me? I didn't blend out my nose. Like, who am I? Am I crazy? Or my lip. It was a coffee. The coffee got me. But I'm gonna use that for my end eye and I'm just gonna apply a little. Underneath my contour line to sharpen that up. Ooh, yes. So I'm gonna leave that there for a bit. And so outcome of the concealer and the matte finishing powder from CoverGirl. Let's let's put this baby back in there. I love you. I love you. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll let that sit for a little bit, and my back is killing me. Um, foundation, awesome, awesome. Too Faced pa uh, Peach Palette. Eh, I gotta work with the colors a little bit more, but I'm excited to try those Morphe palettes. So um, yeah. So I'm gonna brush that off, and I'm using the Morphe M551. And I'm just going to brush that off. Okay. So I'm loving the way it looks. Now I look like I have a stripe. On camera. But in person, it doesn't look like that. Yeah. Hmm. Oh well. Anyways, back to um, my face. So we contoured. We put their uh, brightening powder. Brightening powder. I haven't done a video in so long. Can you tell? Like, I don't know what to do with myself. Like, can I just be normal? This is me being normal, by the way. I'm weird. All right. Now we're gonna apply some blush. And this is the shade um, Rose Fresque from Lancome. It's such a pretty pinky tone. Let's try it. So I'll be using my blush brush, I call it, my blush brush. And this is from the Real Techniques. Real Techniques, what is wrong with me? I'm gonna apply a little to the brush. Oh my god, I love it. See, I'm always red. So I'm not a big blush person. I always brushed it upwards. Just to blend it in. But I really like this. It's really light. Like, it just, it, it's perfect. I'm loving everything today, but definitely... This is like, I think it's going to be my favorite blush. Like, I love it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let me get another sip of my coffee before it gets cold. Mm. Yummy. Okay. My leg is falling asleep. 
So, let's get into the highlight. So, I was on um, the Artist Couture website because I wanted their little highlights so bad. And for some reason, I didn't finish the transaction. I always do that. I put things in my cart and I just leave it there and I forget. But thank God I didn't finish my transaction because the next day my Beautycon box came in and it included the Artist Couture highlight in the shade Illuminati. So I will be trying that baby out like right now. I'm so excited. Like, let's try this baby out. It looks so beautiful. I'm gonna be using um, this brush right here. This is the Morphe E8. This is not really a highlighting brush, but who says you have to use highlighting brush? All right, and I'm just, holy Jesus. Do you, wait, wait, wait. Let me get, let me get closer. Whoa. Do you, holy Jesus is Lord. Like, what did I do? All right, so a little goes a long way. I see that now. So I'm gonna have to blend that out. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Look at that glow. Look at that freaking glow. This is gonna be my holy wait, let me just let me just show you again. You see that? Holy Jesus. I'm gonna apply some to the bridge of my nose. Tip of my nose. And I always apply to the top of my lip. I apply some to my brow bone up here. Just everywhere. All over my body. It's beautiful. I'm so, yo, I'm excited. Look at that. Ooh, chow. All right. Let me zoom me back out of my face. But just let's just stop and um, look at that glow. Hmm. Love it. Okay. Now for mascara. I'm not, um, this is my first time using this as well because I heard wonders about it. <sighs> the packaging. Wait. This is a Lancome Grandiose Extreme Mascara. Can you just look at this packaging? Um, <laughs> In. It has, can you see it? A little rose inside of it. It's so pretty. Let's zoom me back. So, it's so nice. I'm going to just curl my lashes really quick because I forgot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I always blink after. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. So. This is the shape of the wand, which I love, cause it's just different. So I also got the new liner from them as well, which 
I want to try. But for some reason, mascara is good. I like it. Gives me a lot of volume. Um. I'm not in the mood to do a wing. Like, do you ever get like that? Like, you're not feeling your wing today? Like, I don't know. Like, I love doing a wing, but sometimes I just don't feel like it's gonna come out even. So, mascara looks nice. So I'm just gonna go back into the palette. I'm gonna buff under my eyes, which I always do. And I'll be using the Morphe Y20. And I'll be using the Charmed I'm Sure, which is that gray undertone. I'm gonna use that to buff underneath my eye. Just a little under the eye. I just met these people. I don't give a damn about them. Or you. Or your sister. Or any other son of a bitch in Wyoming, for that matter. Excuse the language. Good. That's enough, old man. Now, when they get here, can you just sit your ass in this chair? And you don't do nothing. You don't say nothing. Hello. Thank you. Okay, now I can put some liner on my bottom lash. Cover Girl Outlast, and I don't have my liners around me right now, so I'm just gonna jump in. Usually, with the red, I like to put a liner, um, but I don't have one right now, so I'm gonna apply the coat and then I'll tr apply the top coat after. Let's see. really creamy. It's really like, it has like an orange undertone. What shade is this? Your classic red.